Are you having problems emptying your bladder? This is a really common problem amongst men, particularly men over 60, and there's a lot you can do about it. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm gonna to take you through bladder emptying position technique for men who are having problems emptying their bladder. And I'm also gonna guide you through some dietary information and medication that you can also use to help you with this problem. So some of the problems associated with this can be hesitancy, so you find that you actually can't start the flow of urine. You might find that you're just doing really small voids. And you might also find that you're not completely emptying even though you are trying to empty. So there's a number of ways this can present. It can also be a really slow flow rather than a good strong flow. There's a number of signs that you've got some obstruction or some problems with emptying your bladder. So fortunately, correcting your position technique is one thing that you can control and manage at home. But just bearing in mind, if you do have this problem and that you can't empty fully, it is a medical emergency and you do need to go to the hospital to get your bladder emptied with a catheter because if your bladder overexpands even once, it can become quite floppy and unable to contract in the future. So Treat the problem seriously if you can't empty your bladder. There's three really common problems that cause this issue in men. The main problem is enlarged prostate, particularly over men with men over 60 years old. The second problem is um, with the urine tube, and the urine tube can actually develop scarring inside. Um, you can have stones in there. Also, too, there can be more sinister things. So it's really important that if you have this issue, get checked out with your doctor. The final problem can be tight pelvic floor muscles. So I'm going to take you through some strategies to help you relax your pelvic floor muscles as well with this technique. Let's set up our position first of all. So ideally, try to sit down, particularly if you've got tight pelvic floor muscles, because when you sit, it allows you to relax your abdominal muscles, which also helps you to relax your pelvic floor muscles. So when you sit, I'd like you to sit with your knees slightly apart, and in a lean forward position. Obviously, you go with, you've got this problem, you go when you first feel the urge to empty, don't put it off, which is our normal advice for bladder management. But with this problem, you go when you first feel the urge. Take your legs wide and lean yourself slightly forward. And it's important that you keep the inward curve in your lower back, that you're not slumping like that. So that's your lean forward position. Now, if you find that you need to go and you can't start the flow, you can either put the tap on you can run your hand under running water, we know how that can be a trigger. Or you can also lightly tap above your pubic bone at the front there. So sometimes pubic or super pelvic or above the pelvic bone, pubic bone tapping can also start or initiate that bladder emptying. So let's say you've got the flow started, it's all good. Relax your breathing and let your tummy relax forward. Don't pull your tummy in because as soon as you pull your tummy in, you're going to tighten your pelvic floor muscles. So you want to relax that lower abdomen forward if you can. All right, relaxed breathing, letting go. Now, give yourself the time to empty. If you feel that you haven't emptied, then what you can do is something called a double void. And a double void means you can then come up, you can actually then go into standing. So I'll just slowly stand up here. And you can rock your pelvis forward and back in that manner. And then try again. Or you can walk around the room and come back and try again. And once again, you might need to put your hand under the water or you might need to super pubic tap again as well. Okay, so let's talk about some things you can do to reduce your risk of having a large prostate. The first thing you can do is decrease your coffee intake. Now, coffee increases the, the volume of fluid going into the bladder. So the bladder will rapidly expand and that makes it really difficult to empty the bladder. So try to reduce your coffee intake. Coffee intake has also been found to, have an, to promote an increased risk of prostate enlargement too in some studies. So that's something you might want to watch out for. The second thing is having too much protein in your diet. So ideally you should have 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So that's difficult to work out. Who can work that out? Just check online with one of the online um, guides that helps you or the calculators that help you work out how much protein is right for your weight and your body weight. The third thing is that diets that are rich in vitamin C uh, coming from vegetables, particularly green vegetables, have been shown to reduce the risk of enlarged prostate in men. So there's three really interesting dietary things I think you can think about for helping to manage enlarged prostate issues. Finally, you don't have to live with the issue. You can see your doctor and there's medications called alpha blockers, which also help to reduce the size of the prostate gland. They can take a while to work, but they're also helpful to know about. 
finally, if you've got tight pelvic floor muscles, we talked about relaxing through the pelvic floor and through the lower abdomen. I've also too got a CD here that you can listen to to help you train pelvic floor relaxation if that's a problem that you're suffering from. And I'll put that in the link below too. So what have we discussed? We've talked about the importance of position and technique for your bladder emptying. And we also talked about how to do a double void and how that can really help with your emptying and the important thing, the important message about going to the hospital if you need to get emptied and getting a catheter just to avoid that overstretching of the bladder. So thanks so much for watching today. I really hope that this information helps you empty your bladder more effectively. If this video has helped you, I'd love it if you could give it a like below because this helps other men find the information too. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye for now, see you next time.